Hello everybody, welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're not new here. Today we're going to be doing another bit of DIY and I'm going to be showing you how to make a t-shirt and some leggings and make a nice pattern on them. I've chosen the Sigil of Lucifer as my pattern de jour and I really hope that you have a go at this because it's ever so easy and um, you don't really need much stuff, you don't need to buy very much which as you know is the sort of thing that we like on this channel as we are extremely, um, I was going to say cheap but I think I'll say thrifty. So if you'd like to see how to make an absolutely fabulous Sigil of Lucifer t-shirt then please just keep on watching. So here we are at my desk and um, these are all the things that I'm going to be using. I've got some bleach, I've got a little tiny um, spray bottle, I've got a sharpie that I try, um, drew the sigil of Lucifer with, some scissors to cut it out and a couple of brushes. I've got some black plastic and a t-shirt and some cardboard and as you can see this is my craft desk with all my craft stuff and basically that's all there is to it that's all you need I'm going to start by cutting this out um, which is very boring so <laughs> I will carry on doing this I've made it sort of knobbly like this because I thought well I'm not very good at um, drawing the exact shapes of things so in order to make it look perfect I would have to you know do it with a what's that word protractor and set squares and um, all that stuff but if you do it like this and do it sort of roughly freehand then that's not going to be a problem. So two seconds while I cut this out and I'll be right back. I've cut out the shape of the sigil of Lucifer and I've cut it out of tracing paper because I watch loads of people do it on YouTube and they use this stuff called freezer paper which I'd never seen before and I really didn't want to send off for something that I couldn't use for anything else so I bought some tracing paper because I thought well it's going to be good for other things as well and I didn't want to use ordinary paper because I wasn't sure how the bleach would um, work with that but I knew this might be better so when I experimented I used this and it worked absolutely fine. So as you can see I've just got ordinary Tesco bleach that you use in the kitchen and the bathroom. Put that away. And I've got a little, um, I suppose it's like a travel thing, you can get them in boots or I expect you can get them on Amazon or, and it's just a little spray bottle and I put about that much water in the bottom and then filled it up with bleach. I did try it with just bleach but it came out in big blobs so it does need a bit of water just to thin it out a bit. I've got some brushes here um, in case I need them. That was my sharpie for drawing on there so we'll put that over here and this is important. This is like a rolly, I call them rolly mice because uh, it reminds me of a mouse and it's double sided tape so that's what we're going to stick this onto the t-shirt with or with which we will stick it onto the t-shirt to be more grammatically correct. So I'm just going to get the black plastic. This is just a bag obviously. We lay it down here and we get our t-shirt which is cotton, it's, um, I think it's 100% cotton, can't remember, 
but I got it in Primark of course because it doesn't cost much money and I've washed it already because when I was researching this I found out that unless you um, wash your garments first there's some chemicals and stuff that they put on them in the sh in the factory that interferes with the bleach so there you go the more you know the more you learn so I've got some bits of old cardboard here and I'm going to put them inside And this is so that the bleach doesn't go through and get onto the back because we don't want it on the back, we just want it on the front. And then I'm going to line this up. looks about right and then I'm going to put this double-sided tape all over the back so that's now stuck down I'm just going to get a bit of kitchen paper which I forgot right I've just got some kitchen paper so I can blot it if I need to got my little industrial gloves here they're not really industrial they're just ordinary plastic gloves you can buy a box of about a million of them for not very much money and I'm wearing clothes that I don't mind if I get bleach on them so you've got to think about that as well make sure it's all nice and flat I'm just going to squirt this in the sink just to get it going okay that's good and off we go And you can see it's starting already. And this is going to be like a reverse design. You could, I suppose, cut it out the other way and spray into a hole, but that's just too difficult because you'd have to cut like tiny little shapes and I think this is going to be fine um, the more length of time that you leave it the brighter the contrast will be and the thing with black clothes is that they do go very orange and I don't know why that is but maybe somebody can tell me why that is but I'm gonna leave it for a little while to see how long I mean the first one I did I sort of went a bit crazy and stopped it at this point because I thought I don't want the bleach to um, eat into the fabric too much but I think I'm going to leave this one for a little while longer um, just to see how it works really more than anything else see if I can get it a bit brighter <coughs> and um, I will come back and show you something else so I've got here some other patterns that I traced off a pair of joggers that I got from Disturbia which are very lovely um, but they're very 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 warm and I was thinking well I love the design what am I going to do in the summer or in the spring when it's you know less wintry so I thought I would have a go with some leggings just some ordinary leggings and again washed and from Primark 
and this time I'm going to take a darning needle I'm going to try using the darning needle as a guide so I'll just finish doing that and then I'll be right back I'm going to take a um, let's take the small brush and open up the bleach and brush it on and see what happens so to be super fair to me this is the first time I've tried this technique but you know what I'm like on my channel I like to experiment with things so that you can see me uh, bollocksing it up or having a marvellous victory or you know seeing it as it happens in real time so shall I peel it off okay okay it's not the worst that you could imagine so I'm going to put that there and then just go over it I mean if I was any good at doing things freehand I would have tried to do it without the um, tracing the first time but I'm not very good at art I need help well generally but in terms of art and doing things like this, I, I do need assistance in terms of tracing or cheating or things like that. Where does that come off? That comes off the top of that. This is actually hilarious because I'll probably end up, you know, summoning some sort of demon. <laughs> by doing this but yeah I mean it's not too horrible there's another design I might try next to it there's a plastic bag inside these um, leggings by the way just so you know it's not going straight through to the other side we take that all the way down like that this is quite fun actually seeing it appear as if by magic there we go do another one of those yeah this is a sort of thing that would be really nice as a tattoo actually I am saving up for a new tattoo but you know what happens start making a saving jar either in the bank or in a real life jar and life gets in the way and you have to dip into it for things and yeah because good tattoos I mean you what you're looking at seven eight hundred pounds for a whole day maybe more yeah I don't think that's too horrible um, I've got I might put a swirl over here and then yeah so what you have to do is you have to plunge your fabric into cold water um, if you've got a bath that's available that would be ideal I don't have a bath that's available because our bath is full of all our running shoes because that's where they live because we don't have many cupboards in our flat um, so I'm just going to go away and plunge these in the sink um, then all you have to do once you've rinsed them you can on the other one with the paper you you rinse it and then you 
take the paper off almost at the same time then you basically chuck them in the washing machine give them a proper wash give them a dry and hopefully you end up with something you want to wear so there's another little pattern that I just did um, with a paintbrush and the bleach and water mix I didn't want you to watch me doing it because I wasn't sure that it was going to be any good so um, I'm not still not sure that it's going to be any good but um, I thought I'd show you anyway um, I do happen to have quite a few pairs of plain black leggings that are mainly cotton um, and that all come from Primark and that cost various amounts of money but I think I'll have to wait until this has been washed and dried and when I'm wearing it and then you can tell me what you think about it I'm I'm on the fence about this I'm not sure I don't know if it's any good or not so you'll just have to tell me okay back shortly right here's the finished shirt and I hope you'll agree with me that uh, nobody else will have one quite like it um, apart from Mr Jane obviously because I made him one first just to practice um, but yeah I hope that it's something that you might like to try having a go at and um, I will insert some pictures of me wearing the leggings as well so you get to have a look at those too but this was the main part of the video so um, I hope you've enjoyed this little journey of ours um, if you do have a go at making it don't forget to um, stay in a well ventilated room because of the bleach and wear gloves and possibly glasses as well um, but please please be very careful with bleach because it can get everywhere and ruin all sorts of nice things right then thank you very much for watching the video please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. It would be lovely to have you join us here. Um, I will see you next time for something different. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay strange. Bye for now, everybody.